So here we are outside again, harvesting from the Park Service lawn. Um, today we're harvesting buffalo berries. We're gonna try a couple recipes um, today with buffalo berries. You do have to be careful. They do have some pokies on them, but So the one thing about harvesting out in the in nature is you want to make sure that you always know exactly what berries you are picking. Some berries can be very poisonous. Um, so you just want to make sure that you know for sure before you go there. Okay, so we finished picking our buffalo berries. And again, we're using a Taste of Heritage um, cookbook. Um, today we're gonna do uh, buffalo berry jelly and we're also going to change one of the recipes just a little bit instead of making choke cherry cake because we didn't have choke cherries outside we're going to substitute the buffalo berries and make buffalo berry cake um, so it's handy when you read the book there's lots of good tips in here that Jen and I don't usually do until after we've already done it but this book is great. It tells you that if you are high, harvesting buffalo berries, um, if you like your berries really sharp, you can pick buffalo berries any time of the year. Um, but if you want them to come off the twig easier and be much more sweeter, then after the first frost is better. Um, we did try to shake them off the branch, um, but we were missing one important part which was one person pulls a branch and holds it down and the other person um, hits it with a stick and then the berries would fall out on our sheets. So we were missing one step there. Um, yeah, and so the other thing for cleaning the berries, she almost now always would put the berries in water and then the stuff that she didn't want in there would float to the top so and then you can just easily take something and sift that stuff out and throw it away all right so we have our cake batter which is flour sugar soda salt powder milk water uh, shortening two eggs almond extracts and now we are crushing up the berries and we will mix them in. And then once we get them mixed in, we will put them into our floured cake pan. be really pretty and yummy. So our batter turned out really pretty. We're gonna stick it in this and then we have the oven set for 450 degrees and it will cook for 45 minutes. Okay. So we've got the cake cooking with our buffalo berries and now we're going to use the rest of our buffalo berries to make buffalo berry jelly. Um, so we've de-stemmed them a little bit, washed them, and they are simmering with some water. It doesn't say how long, um, so it just says to cook the buffalo berries in water. And then we're going to add sugar, um, cook for a little bit more, squeeze the fruit, put the juice back on the stove and add some pectin to make it into jelly. So uh, it's simmering in some water right now and we'll keep you updated on how long we cook them and how it turns out.
the jam is just finished cooking with its 20 minutes of sugar, so we're letting it cool. We'll get the cake cooling. super good it reminds me of like a cobbler or something when you have seeds so because we didn't do anything with the seeds we just smashed them and put them in there um, if you could find a way to strain it it wouldn't have the seeds but the almond extract adds a really unique flavor and it's really 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 moist I think we have another success yes success Okay, so we added the sugar, let it do its thing for 20 minutes, and now we're going to attempt to strain it through the cheesecloth. We want more berries, but it's really hot, so we don't want to squish the berries. Do we have a yeah. spoon? Put this back in here. Now we're gonna add some pectin and um, let it cook for another 20 minutes and then we will can it. Okay, so it cooked with the pectin for 20 minutes. Um, and we put it in this because I do not have the skills to pour it out of that big old pot. So we're just going to put a little bit in each of the cups and hopes that it sets up. And we have some delicious jelly. jelly and as always nobody's tasted this yet so we get the honest first reactions <laughs> it kind of tastes like honey yes that's exactly what I'm trying to think about it yes very very sweet with not much fruit flavor. No, no fruit flavor. It's like a honey. Mm -hmm. Weird, but it's good. I like it. Very good, but not as berry as I was expecting for sure. Mm -hmm. 